Have you ever wondered how such a simple ingredient, milk, or goat's milk in this case, can be made into so many different products? Well, I've come here today to a little hidden treasure, Bluett Springs, to have a go at making one of my favourite foods, cheese. Guiding our group on this unique experience is cheesemaker Lulu Lunn and affineur Linda Grace from Culinary Art Productions. They love to share their passion for cheesemaking with others. But first, meet two of the most important girls in the entire process, Hattie and Georgia. Very keen to get up there today. Come on, good girl. What we need to do is we need to pinch that off and then squeeze. Well, I've tried hand milking a couple of times and my technique is kind of like using a piping bag. You know when you pipe icing onto a cupcake? You look like you've got that done, Pat. Yep, nice, nice pinching and squeezing. I think you'll make a goat milker. <laughs> <laughs> Our milk's successfully collected. It's on to morning tea overlooking the Chenin Blanc vines of Dowie Dual Wines, which we'll enjoy a drop of later over lunch, thanks to Lulu's winemaker partner, Drew Dowie. But for now, Lulu's made a delicious raspberry and goat curd cake to be washed down with OK, well, here it is, the milk that we've just come back from milking, so it's only a couple of minutes out of the goat. Nice and warm. See what you think. I actually, I actually really love it. I was kind of, to be honest, going to tell you that I loved it either way, but I really genuinely do. It's <laughs> so, like, rich and creamy, and, it's, and I've never had it warm straight from an mm. animal before, so that, that really is something special. Next, time to roll up our sleeves and get down to the business of cheese making. This is called a lactic cheese or a lactic set and it sets with acidification. We actually add a drop of rennet which is the enzyme that coagulates the milk um, just to make it work a bit faster really. So we'll add a little bit of salt. So in about a litre of milk we have about half a teaspoon of salt. Put in culture. So this is the freeze dried culture which is the bacteria I was talking about before. So this gives it the acidification and the flavour. I made this one oops, at lunchtime yesterday and using exactly that same method. And that's ready to go. Have a sniff, it's amazing. Yeah, wow. Well. Pass it now. You guys have like a smell. <laughs> now, most styles of cheese will start off this way. What you do with it afterwards determines what type of cheese it will be. We make halloumi, feta, um, we do a chev, a camembert and then ricotta and everyone gets to get in and stir, which is great. And then we sit down and have lunch and by the time we're at that stage, hopefully we get to eat our halloumi with our lunch. Why do you think your classes have become so popular? It's something people can do at home. It's quite simple and easy to do. Yeah, I think just people, more and more people are liking to do things themselves. This is fun. Isn't it the best? Yeah. <laughs> Making the halloumi was my favourite because it was reasonably quick. Once the curd is set and cut into tiny cubes, give it a good hand mix to make it nice and springy. Drain and press for an hour and it's pretty well ready to cook. I was surprised at how easy it was to make goat's cheese. I think in the end a lot of it comes down to patience because you just need to give each cheese a bit of time to do its thing. For lunch, we're spoiled again because Grace dishes up a goat's cheese tart with fig and gorgonzola salad. And what better way to finish the lunch than by trying some other cheeses, including this beautiful halloumi that we've made. Now, if you're a cheese lover like I am, and let's face it, who doesn't love cheese, then this experience is a must. Wow. Lulu and Grace run classes on the first Sunday of the month, from February to September. You can check their Facebook page or website for details. Numbers are limited to just eight people, so you could even get a group together. Cheese, wine and the southern vines. Not a bad way to spend a day. Cheers, cheers.